Hello everyone, this is Alec from AJ Farms and I have some very exciting news today. We are about nine weeks out from our last frost date, so it's time to start some seeds. I actually just got back from the store getting some stuff that I needed. I'm not as organized this year as I was last year, so <laughs> definitely I'm scrambling around to figure out what I need to start today. And I actually got quite a few seeds. Uh, not all of these will be starting today, like the corn and the pumpkins, not yet. But, oh, that one's upside down. But I will be starting quite a few seeds in different methods, and I'll also be transplanting these Roma tomato plants that I planted last year for Christmas. They are getting quite big. They're getting old too, I can't do math right now. But they do need to be transplanted. They're getting a little crowded out, the roots are coming out of the bottom of the cup, and they are shading out the plant in the middle. But I also saved some seeds from last year in these little plastic bags right here. I think I'm actually missing one. I might be. I'll go check. But I bought some seeds that I knew I didn't have any more of, such as the jalapeno, because I used all of them last year. I'm really excited for the Gigantica ones. Gigantia? Okay. Because those can get pretty long, and I want to see how long I can get. But I'm going to get everything set up and show you what I'm actually planting today, so I'll see you in a bit. Hello everyone. I just finished transplanting my tomatoes. They look a little bit wilted, so I'll give them a bit more water. Or at least in this one, they're actually okay, but this one looks a little wilted, so I'll give it a little more water and put it back in my grow tent. And over here, I just planted my tomato seeds on the left side, if I can get this tag out. I planted my beefsteak tomatoes. They are the big ones, they're an indeterminate variety. And, or big slicing ones, I mean. And I planted about two to three in each uh, little peat pellet. I have used these peat pellet trays before, I just haven't used them in a few years. I saw them in the store and I was like, oh, it's a nice way to keep a whole bunch of plants in a small area. So I decided to try it again. I haven't had problems with it before, and what's really nice is you can actually get little refills. So if you want to reuse the tray, you can just get refills, pop them in, fill it with some warm water, let the pellets expand, and you'll have more uh, little pellets for growing. And then to the right, I planted Roma tomatoes. These are a sauce tomato. They're great with making sauce. We actually made a whole bunch of sauce last year with the ones we grew. And I plan on growing more varieties of sauce tomatoes this year. I just have to order them because I couldn't find them in the store. So I'll get on ordering those and when they come in I will show you with another video. So I'm going to go put my tomatoes back in the grow tent because they're not looking too happy. And I'm going to put the lid on for this. It does come with a lid. It's this right here. It is a little bit flimsy and a little hard to get on, but it does hold in heat and moisture. Though you want to make sure that once the plants spread out, you take the lid off because they will get too hot and too damp and it's not good for the plants. So I'm going to go put these in the grow tent and I will update you when I finish planting some, th some other stuff. Hello again, we're back this time. I just finished planting the red burgundy onions. I've never grown these before, so it'll be really interesting. I tried to grow onions, I think they were red onions. I'm not sure which variety though, from sets last year, and those did not turn out well at all. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try again from seeds because the yellow onions I grew from seeds did at least get a little bit of a bulb, they did get bigger, so we'll see how that works. For this pot, instead of starting them in a cup, I did start them in a small six inch pot. I filled it up with some soil, I took the seeds and just kind of sprinkled them around, just all over the pot, and then covered them up with some soil lightly. They don't need that much on top of them, the seeds are very tiny. I don't actually have any... Oh, no, that's a piece of dirt. Yeah, I don't have any out for you, but hopefully I will get better results. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of them spread out, because I did just sprinkle them over. I might thin them out. I might just start transplanting them as soon as I can. The weather should be warming up soon, and onions are pretty cold hardy, so we'll see. And I think I'm going to plant some basil and some peppers next. I am starting to get a little tired. There's a lot of stuff that I've been moving around, so we will see what I do next. And I will show you everything once I'm done in the grow tent. Hello everyone again. I'm back and I think I'm done planting seeds for today. I got a good few things planted back there in that container that's very, very fogged up now. That's the little Jiffy Peat Pellet Greenhouse I have my tomatoes planted. Here I've got some red burgundy onions. The one with the plastic bag are my MOA Scotch Bonnets. I actually saved seeds from my plants last year. They didn't do as well as I'd hoped, but I'm trying again. I also have Black Beauty eggplants, um, cayenne peppers, and Genevieve's basil. So hopefully these will be sprouting, and I'll be starting some more seeds next week, so look forward to another video. Thanks for watching.
Hi everyone, so I ended up planting a few more peppers because those did need to get started and I wanted to show you quickly what varieties I planted. So first right here we have the Carolina Reaper pepper. This is the hottest pepper in the world. Clocked at a max of 2.1 million scovels, which is the scale that peppers are, the heat of a pepper is measured on. Here we have the Bahamian goat. I'm sorry the labels might be a little difficult to read. I didn't I don't know where my duct tape went. Usually I would write it on duct tape, but I couldn't find that this time. Here I've got the peach scotch bonnet. Got some California wonder bell peppers. I'm hoping this year to let them stay on the plant long enough to turn red. Though I did have them a little overcrowded so they didn't get shaded out by the other peppers that grew much, much faster. And then I also have the Jalapeno Gigantia. I'm pretty sure that's how that's pronounced. If any of you know how to pronounce it, please feel free to correct me. But yes, I planted a few more. And I also wanted to mention one thing about the seed starting mix that I'm using. This seed starting mix has no nutrients in it. So as my seeds start sprouting, I will need to fertilize them. And I am I have a few different fertilizers, fertilizers that I can use depending on what I'm growing for all my herbs. I'll use a more balanced fertilizer because you really grow those for the leaves. For all my vegetables, like my peppers and tomatoes, I'll use a formula more suited for vegetables since they do need a different balance of nutrients. But yes, these plants are now joining the lovely plants in my grow tent, and in the upcoming weeks we'll be starting some more things. We are planning on starting some things that we didn't actually start indoors last year, like cucumbers and pep or uh, pumpkins, sorry, because my pumpkins did not do well at all last year. I didn't get any, which is disappointing because the year before I got some pretty big ones. I think my biggest one was 16 pounds. And the for whatever reason, they got absolutely taken over by squash bugs. So we're going to definitely keep up on our pest management, make sure we're spraying neem oil when we need to, or any other hopefully organic solutions like uh, BT, and start some things inside so they're stronger when they go out, so they're more resilient, and hopefully the bugs get to them a little bit later because I would love to get a 20-pound pumpkin this year or bigger. We'd really love to enter one in the county fair. So here's what we started so far and what we have growing indoors from earlier or last year, and hopefully you will join us when we start some more seeds. Thanks for watching.